Hey guys, this is Captain Jack Sparrow, and welcome back to my DNS Tech Pack Let's Play. This is episode 15, and I'm pretty sure I got that one right. With today's episode, I've got something really cool to show you guys. I got the Quarry Plus working. But before we do that, I figured you guys might want to see how I hook it up, stuff like that. Now, last episode, you guys saw in this behemoth of a room that I created this, which is going to be a, a thermal expansion room. So, it, nothing huge, nothing spectacular yet, but I needed to make a tesseract. And the way that you make a tesseract is you need an induction smelter, you need a magma crucible, and you need a fluid transposer. And the way that you do this is you get ender pearls, if you could spell. You get ender pearls, you put them in here in the magma crucible, it melts them down, and then you put them in a bucket, and then you take them over here and you make these this blend, which this blend is used, you use the bucket and some pulverized tin and some pulverized shiny metal to get you enderium blend and you use the enderium blend and what was the other thing oh the pyrethrum which is fairly easy to make it's uh, blaze powder some sulfur the coal and redstone and you throw them in here and you get these green nasty looking enderium ingots and what the enderium ingots are used for is the tesseract and where is it why can't I see it because it's not tesseract it's tesseract hello you use those in some hardened whatever glass which is fairly simple you how did I get it uh, the induction smelter no it wasn't the induction smelter how did I get the Enderian glass? Or the, no, it's because I must have clicked the Enderian glass. Let's see. It's a lot easier than that. Fused quartz. Okay, so I burned it in the alloy smelter with some nether quartz. Not a hard thing to do. So you throw that all in here, and you get the, the chassis. And then you take the chassis, and you fill it with more liquid uh, ender pearls. Like so. Nope, that's a must be an upgraded one. Like so. So, like this here. This is what I was trying to explain. You take the empty chassis, you pump it full of a hundred megabucket millibuckets of of this green resonant ender kind of cool looking stuff. It's a lot better than the bars. And that makes a tesseract frame. Now that frame is completely useless unless you like the look of these frames, because well, it's not a tesseract. Um you need to get some bronze, some silver, and build it like such. And then you have the Tesseract. And the Tesseract is really cool. I'm not going to build another one because that was a long and painful process. Um, the Tesseract is cool because mixed with a little bit of uh, capacitors, you can slap it up here and create an energy bridge, I guess, an energy transporter, liquid and item transporter. That's something that allows you to go great distances, any, any realm, I guess, in this game. I mean, you can go to Twilight Forest, you can go to, um, the end, you, you go wherever you want with these and they will continue to transport power, uh, energy and items or liquid and items. Now you can set them up to where they do all three. My dog is going nuts. Um, all three, or you can, I mean, these are like networks here. You can put in, uh, if you really wanted to, the poo and put it on channel, uh, nine. Now, now I have a poo channel. So if I ever start needing to transfer sludge, uh, well, that's the channel I'm going to use. But for this one, we're going to use the power and we're going to set it to that. I've set it to uh, send only because I only want it to send. I don't ever want to receive. Um, and I've turned off these two other um, yeah, configurations. 
then you've got your standard redstone control, another little GUI here that tells you what, what's going on, the, the, the big deal. We don't need those. Now, the other thing, do you guys remember, let's see, way over here, I think it's because I'm inside that it's doing this. Yeah. yeah, okay, so do you remember way down here, where'd it go? I placed that quarry. Well, let's go to the quarry. Oh, and I found out how to do this, guys. I I thought that that uh, that this was a little sketchy, but uh, I had uh, one of my one of my kids wanted to get on. They got on, and they're like, "Daddy, can you put it in creative mode?" Um, so I did the classic open to LAN and then set it to creative mode. Now I've never gone in and typed game mode space one. But uh, that opens up the teleportation ability of these waypoints. And I'm going to use those. It's just going to make things a lot easier. I don't have to fly, so on and so forth for very long. But I don't remember how high I made this, this waypoint. So I tend to go in bat form. Oh, and it's night. I don't want to go out there at night because I don't have the protection of my magnum torch. So we'll sleep. That 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 that. Okay, good. All right, now we'll go bat mode. By the time we're done, we can go here and teleport to the quarry. Yeah. Okay. So I guess that really doesn't matter. Now I've already fired this up for a whole two seconds just to make sure I got it running, and you can see that it's starting to clear the area here. Oh, that looked like a skeleton from over there, that little dude there. Okay. I'll go through and I'll clean up all the tops later. I'm not too worried about it, but I was having some problems because I put this right next to my big reactor. These do not bleed off a big reactor, so um, I brought a redstone furnace out here so I could have some sort of power meter. We don't need that anymore. Now, I've gone ahead and turned off the... Uh, the connection, it's not connected to anything right now. So, well, actually, it is connected, it's just not turned on. So, let's go ahead and receive energy. And it is going to go crazy. Now, it is just prepping the areas. Let's get all this loaded. Yeah, see, so it's going to start taking away at that island and. But it is working. Yep, there it goes there. So you can see it taken away there. Now, the reason why I'm doing this way out here is because the amount of lag that this is going to create, because I didn't do it under or over solid water, is going to be insane. So I wanted to go ahead and do this like this because once it's done, I'm out of here. I'm not worried about it anymore. Um,. Oh, I still have magnet mode on. Yeah, that needs to change. Uh, so, now the other thing that I gotta make sure we're able to do is handle all of the import stuff, the, the inbound stuff. Okay, whoa, give me that back. Okay. bat form. I don't need it right now. Okay. Now I've gone ahead and I've made a few, um, three more 64K drives, and it looks like only one is even being touched. Okay, we've got a couple of 16s, so one that's not being touched, so as you can see, it's got an influx of stuff coming in, and I was trying to fix a bunch of stuff. Where did they put that ender quarry? I don't remember, but I think it's time that we place an ender quarry out in the open so we can see actually what's going through it. I think that's a good spot. Okay, let's go here. Let's get some lapis. We only need one. Boom. Whoops, wrong one. 
Okay, well, that was useless. Uh, I need another ender quarry because uh, I don't have... Actually, is it the bone meal? Let's look and see what kind of... Because I goofed that up. Let's see what makes white die. Biomes of plenty and bees. Oh, ceramic dye. Oh, we can make that. Can we? Oh, I guess I need a white dye on top of that. Do I have any of those? No. Do I have any of those upstairs? I left all the plant stuff upstairs. While I'm looking for this, guys, if you guys like these episodes, if you want me to continue these episodes, let me know by hitting that like button. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, and you'll get updated with the newest stuff that I put out. I put out this video once a week on Fridays. And other than that, uh, I think that's what we needed. Just don't do it for me, guys. Don't do it just for me. Do it for do it for every YouTuber that you visit. Uh, if you like their content, hit them a like. It it definitely helps. And with that said, that is the wrong plant. Okay, so I need another ender chest because I'm not going to mess around with this any longer. Ender chest, right there. Gimme. Okay, and what was the color of the quarry. Oh no. Well, back to the quarry. Because I can't remember. Oh, it's the one on the other side. Okay. Let's get some food. No. Okay, so let's do this again. Let's get another lapis. Hello. Okay, we're back after a really weird crash. I don't know what's different. I had to update the DNS tech pack, which I didn't like doing. But it's up and running. So, what were we doing? Oh, we were doing this. I just got back to program that yep see everything's changed back so some stuff may have changed I don't like that okay let's uh, get some lapis <clears throat> and let's put oh looks like I got a book let's put the lapis opposite that one and now we can see what's going into the ME system I'm going to need some deep storage units. I know that fairly quickly. That will be the case. So, the other thing that I wanted to do, let's see if I can do a deep storage unit. Not seep storage unit, hello. Deep storage unit, how hard are those? Those are pretty easy. Let's see, we need... We only need one, because we can come over here, and we can do this. And we will have one for gravel, dirt, yeah, all the above. Wow, this just made it easy. Okay, that should be enough. Seven of them. Don't think I'm going to need any more, but... I do want to put one in here. Does any of this not... Yeah, okay, that doesn't have it. Why do I have... Oh, that's blaze powder. It's like, why do I have fire? That's like vanilla's version of fire. Okay, so six is probably plenty. Originally, we were going to do the uh, the harvester planter to get uh, this tree farm done so we can get rubber. But just for sheer save-my-insanity reasons... I want to get rid of this book too, and these, and these. I want to get uh, that remedied real quick because I don't want to have to sit here and make a whole bunch of um, drives, which 
Drives are still fairly easy. Oh, look at that. The quarry picked up lily pads. Cool. And a bunch of melon. Holy cow. Okay. But we already have 26,000 dirt and over a million cobble. Is that right? Or is that... No, that's 0.1 million. That's weird. Wait. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Anyways, so let's see. What are we going to do? We are going to take our deep storage units. Now, I know I said that this is going to be solely for applied energistics, but applied energistics to me is a majority storage. So let's take the deep storage units and let's put them back here for now. Dirt, gravel, sand cobble limestone and I'm sure we're going to use something else so next thing we're going to need is we're going to need storage buses we don't have store that's a lot of weird looking blocks okay we don't have storage buses so let's go back to applied energistics and look up the ME storage bus. Okay, we can't quite make it because we need the ME interface. I don't want that version. I want that version. I guess you can interchange them. Weird, okay. How about you? Okay, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Now let's take you and... Actually, you know what? <clears throat> actually, I don't think that matters because we're turning them into storage buses. Okay, well that was... Uh, sticky piston. Okay. There we go, six of those. And we're going to put those here. And what the storage buses do is they allow whatever's in here in these deep storage units to be included as a drive. So it's kind of like for other mods to have their storage included. Like you could use barrels or anything you want that stores stuff. I've got one on on, I believe, this one? No, that's an import bus. Maybe it's this one. Yeah, there's one right down there. Where's my Wayla? I have no Wayla. That's weird. I'll have to try and remedy that. Huh. Okay. Well. Oh well. Let's get some ME cable. And since there's less than eight items on this chain we can use standard glass so I don't have to sit here and make nine million more feet of this stuff and I'm gonna try and keep this out of the way so let's go up there so those are now all included so then we're going to need uh, export bus. Let's see here. Export bus. How many of these can I make? How many do I have? I have ten. Perfect. Now, I'm going to change this, because, remember, you can only have eight per glass cable. So we're going to take you and go here, 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 and here. And I may change this later, but it's not a big deal right now. There we go. Whoops. 
so okay so they see how it's just registered all of those and the same with well that one won't register because it doesn't tell but let's get in here and search number of items we'll go one of you one of you well, gravel yep there's three obsidian nope sand limestone is that six one two three four five that's five so it is six okay so that'll take a massive load off of the applied energistics the uh, applied energistics system so now we can take this and go bloop, and take you and look it's already pulling it okay so we'll put dirt in there we'll put sand in here we'll put limestone in here We'll put, whoops, I don't, and eh, it doesn't really matter now, it's already started, gravel, and then obsidian. So we should start seeing the load lightening up on the drives, but we still see all of our items in here. So we get to keep all of our items, but they're kind of off-site storage. So it's already starting to pull. I can go in and put speed buses in here, which I very well may be doing right now. Let's, or not buses, cards. So let's see. Cards. Advanced card. Um, that's a lot of carrot seeds. Advanced card. Let's go to back to Applied Energistics. We're getting close on wrapping this one up, guys. We've got about four more minutes. This one, this episode turned out fairly well. Let's see acceleration card yes no I don't want to use all those because those peers you have to manually make and it looks like I have to so how many do I have oh I've got plenty one two three four five six and put you one of whoa not that many Save some for the other guys. Okay. So by the time I get done placing individual ones of these, we should be seeing a massive amount of cobblestone in the first deep storage unit. Yeah, see we're already up to 1400. So it's draining the system. Draining the load right off of it. See, look, more green than red. Success. So, perfect. Guys, with that said, uh, we have achieved better storage, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Enjoy.